see he got really set up though. And it's almost C's fault for kind of pushing it a little bit too close. He should have maybe expected uh, things to be a little bit farther out, but uh oh. Bisu moving into here, Town Swords sees third base. I didn't even realize C had gotten the third base up, and those tanks are completely unprotected. Dragoons are going to run straight up and start assaulting. They're going to take out those tanks. Now they're going to be under assault from these vultures, though. Bisu doing very good micro. He's got the observer ahead up above, so he can so he can pick off those mines as well. So Bisu losing just a single Dragoon there to that mine and picking off two tanks. Not a bad trade at all, and now he's going to be able to fall back and save those units. Um, uh oh, some mines in the field. Needs to be careful. And almost psychically going around them. Nope, he's got almost psychically going to run right into them. Oh, picks it off. Whew, that was close. Um, anyway, so B suit now at three bases. And yes, I know, I saw the carriers. I saw the carriers, okay? I did not see them. B suit is switching over to carriers now. I guess he figured he took out so much. I mean, he took out so many forces in that first attack that he can now afford to uh, build carriers and, and forces at the same time and really just catch C. Uh, C's having to play catch up basically right now because he lost his entire army. He's going to have to play defensively. He did manage to get that third base up though while he was attacking. So nicely done on C's part. But he's still going to have to play very defensively. So he can't really send out a timing attack to catch Bisu um, while he's teching or anything like that. So Bisu can just feel free, pretty free to make carriers. And he spread his Stargates out in three different locations also, which is very interesting. It's a, a kind of a cool tactic. Some, oftentimes you see players will, will put their uh, Stargates all in the same spot so that it's harder to spot them. You know, you can't just do a random comp set in the main and find out carriers are coming. But in this case... See if he commsats one of them, he'll see that the carriers are coming, but he won't know um, how many are coming, right? And so now there's actually three Stargates popping out. So if he commsatted that, that top right location with the Stargate and the Fleet Beacon, he'd see um, one Stargate and, and the Fleet Beacon, and um, wouldn't necessarily know that there'd be more coming out, but he's actually producing out three gateways, I'm sorry, three Stargates, and he's got a fourth base going up in the top right corner as well. C is trying to put down a fourth base as well, though, at the right side of the map. Bisu is looking to put together a fifth base. He's running these zealots to, to clear out mines so he can take out, uh, so he can uh, build that fifth base on the left side of the map. So both players going heavy, heavy macro here. There's going to be tons and tons of forces being thrown at each other for the rest of this map uh, matchup. Uh, Vulture's coming in to try and take out this, this fledgling base at the top right. The Nexus is about to warp in, but the cannons are not going to be enough to, against that many Vultures. He's going to pick off a few probes here, and oh, the Dragoons to come in for backup. Uh, he is going to drive them off, but uh, probes get called back mid-transfer. Uh-oh, whoa, those Vultures had, had got to be a little bit worried there. And there's the Carriers. The Carriers get revealed. He's revealing the Carriers already to take out these uh, Vultures, which I find very interesting. I would have thought that he wanted to wait longer, although maybe he knows he's been comsatted. And why does he have that floating starport there? It's really interesting. Um, I mean, he's not using the starport, I guess, right now, but might as well float it out somewhere and... I don't know. Well, I guess it makes sense to get out of the way. Uh, anyway, Kara's now coming in here and assaulting this new um, uh, sort of uh, wall, the Great Wall of, of Mech that's been set up by C over here. C has definitely knows that the carriers are coming. He's got Goliaths in play. He's got turrets. He's got this wall going on. So he knows these are coming. Uh, Bisu trying to assault this wall with his carriers before the Goliaths get into play. The Goliaths now have caught up to this location. They're going to be able to start picking off interceptors. And Bisu doesn't quite have enough carriers to really, really fight those Goliaths right now. He's going to have to wait for more carriers or he's going to have to fight with those Dragoons at the same time. But it's going to be really hard for those Dragoons to get in close with those siege tanks there. So Sea Shield actually doing a very good job here of uh, holding things off, playing defensively, and getting a bunch of bases despite the fact that he last that early army um B still still has not taken that fifth base maybe he wasn't planning on taking it as much as just securing it and um uh but in any case they're doing pretty even about uh on their economies right now sea shield is really holding up remarkably well but beast going in for a major attack here tons of zealots coming in they're having to deal with this depot wall few do get through barely but they get picked off as soon as they get in near the tanks there's the uh Mines in the way, really softening him up. The, 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 the Goliaths managing to pick them off before they get in too close. But he's going with a bunch of goons as well. I don't know if there's enough tanks to deal with this many Dragoons. And he's actually moving around the side, so only a few of the tanks are able to access those Dragoons, even with their extended range. And uh, fighting with the Goliaths, there's like two battles going on right now at once. Um, and they're not quite mixing yet. They're not quite mixing yet, but almost 
Woo, but a few of those depots are going to go down. And mostly, it's wall retains mostly intact, though. Remains mostly intact. And not a single tank died that battle. Not a single tank died. Maybe one or two, but I didn't see many tanks die. So Sea Shield really coming out ahead in that battle there. Here's now, now he's going in. He's picking off those tanks with the... Uh, with the cares now sometimes those when those battles happen when there's two different battles going on at once They do mix and you have the dragoons fighting the goliaths and the goliaths have to fight the dragoons And so they're not able to bother the carriers the pair carriers are able to attack the tanks in that case You just had the carriers just kind of overhead just kind of attacking some random stuff and uh, the dragoons were just getting shelled by tanks So it didn't do as much good BC whoa is not going in for another shot Looks like he might be going around to attack a more vulnerable location. And C is not... Whoa, C is trying to set up yet another base at the 6 o'clock position. Bisu is going all the way down around here, around the, the giant wall that C had set up there. And he's attacking where C is vulnerable. Um, he's got a smaller force, though, so he's kind of forced to attack where he's vulnerable. He's picking off the tanks. Looks like it might be just trying to pick off a couple tanks here so his ground units can get in a little bit closer and, uh, and do more damage. But he's... A lot of his units are getting stuck on that bridge and not really going to full effect there. He's just kind of the unit, ground units were just kind of distractions. And whoa, C snuck a few tanks up here. He's killing all kinds of stuff. He's killing massive amounts of probes. Look at that. Three kills on each of those tanks um, is what it looks like. So he's killed uh, at least a dozen probes now. And Bisu doing nothing about it. Finally getting some dragoons, dragoons over there. Um, wow, so we have Bisu. Bisu is actually very far behind right now. He's gonna, if he, especially if he loses his base, he's gonna be in such huge trouble. Mines coming in here. Vulture's gonna be in mines. There comes the carriers back. They're gonna pick off these tanks. It looks like he may save this Nexus. The Nexus is not quite in the, in the burning yet, so it's gonna be okay. But he lost all those probes there. And now, uh, C with a nice little chunk of Goliath and a single take moving out into the middle of the map to try and engage there. Bisu's transforming more probes over there. It looks like they're going to get caught in the middle. Bisu now having to kind of engage where he didn't really want to, trying to fight off these Goliaths. He's got a lot of carriers now, though, a lot of interceptors, and C only has about one control group of uh, Goliaths. He seizes up a little bit late, not able to kill those Dragoons off too early, so they are going to get in close and get a few hits off. More Goliaths coming from behind, though, and another tank as well. Um, but Bisu is just not just doesn't quite have the carrier count to really, really um, be winning these battles here against these Goliaths. And he's always oh, so close to losing a couple carriers. Needs to be careful. Needs to be careful. A couple shots going off on those carriers. Ooh, he's falling back. He's still barely, barely holding on to this Nexus over here. Goliath's moving in to try and chase down those carriers. I think C smells blood in the water. And he's going after those carriers that are low on hit points. Look at that. Only a few hits left on that on that carrier. No shields left on it. Oh, and he's firing. Oh, he gets the carrier. Oh, Bisu a little bit sloppy. Thought he had that battle one and just A-moved that Goliath. Stopped micring. Let the Goliath get too close. And the Goliath did pick off 